So Elizabeth's cleaning off a shelf right now. We got an ice maker this last fall and we haven't hooked it up because it's gonna go in our mudroom. Mudroom's not heated, it's not air conditioning. So over the winter, we didn't want it to freeze. So we put it in the garage and now we're getting ready to hook it up because we have to butcher meat chickens on Friday. And uh, having an ice maker is gonna save us a ton on ice over the course of you know, the six or eight months we process chickens. So you're gonna watch us do that today. So Beth cleans off that shelf. I need to find a couple shelves for the greenhouse because we need those tables back there in there for butchering on Friday. Let's go look for those. This is the shelf she's cleaning off. We haven't decided what we're going to do with it yet though. I think that's the one we're going to use. One of them. Looks like it's about to collapse anyway, so get all my fishing stuff off it. So we're going to move our tables out of the way, put a rack right here, and I'm hoping to find another one to put right here. And we can put all our plants and they can get equal light <clears throat> and then we can have our tables back all right so we got the screws in keeps it steady let's start moving some plants we definitely need to repot these there we go one right all right we found another one got it attached so it's not moving around. Now we just gotta put the rest of our plants on it. All done. I actually think it's gonna be better because more of the plants get uh, direct sunlight than they did having them over here. Check it out from the outside. Oh yeah, much better. Cool. Let's go check on the guys up there. See how they're doing today. It's about one o'clock. Uh, we fed them about nine and give them water and everything so we'll go check and see how they're doing all right <clears throat> made it up here let's check on them All right, let's go check on our seven week old brothers. Looks like everybody's good. Give them some water. Look how content these guys are. Just happy to be out in the sun. All right, got our sprinklers moved. Chicken's watered. Everybody's checked on. Let's go get some more work done. Finally nice out. So Madeline and I are working in the greenhouse today and repotting our tomatoes. How you boys doing? It's been a couple hours since we banded them and they are doing really well. Just napping. Here, let's put, I don't a, little, know if that okay. let's put a little bit more around it. Okay. We want to get there. Um, is this guy even worth keeping? Sappy. Perfect. Yeah, those ones. Get the big ones. The ones that need repotted. Yeah, that one's doing. Yeah. Oh, he's by himself. Oh, oh um, that guy. <laughs> oh, that little one will pull out. All right, thank you. So we ended up bringing this ice maker all the way into our mud room and decided that uh, I didn't really want to drill through walls to run the water and hook into our water underneath our sink and figure out how to run the electrical. So we moved it back out to the garage where we had it. I'm going to run a garden hose to it and plug it into the garage. But upon discovering this little filter housing, you can see the crack around the top of it. It's actually broken. So I gotta try and reseal it with something. I'm thinking some E6000 glue, but I don't know. Yeah, see, not supposed to be like that. So this is where we're gonna move it back to because there's an outlet here and I can run a garden hose from just out here. There's a little valve right there. So I can run a garden hose along this and go in the side and uh, it'll be filtered because it has a filter if I can fix the housing. That's the top of it here. And uh, hopefully it should be good.
All right, guys, we got all the drain pipe and everything hooked up. Now I gotta figure out how to hook a garden hose to this and come in from the outside like I was saying earlier. So we're still working on that. Just got done with the evening chores, so we're able to finally get back to this. Only got like a half hour though, and then I need to go in and get dinner. All right, guys, I turned the ice maker on this morning with the water and uh, my glue job did not hold. This thing literally exploded and flew across my garage. I think we gotta go buy a new one. On another note, we're gonna put uh, Aunt Betty and Cal, our newest buckling, and maybe one other goat out on our front lawn to mow it down. Rather than get the gas mower out, why not let the goats eat it? Hi, Miss Betty. You wanna come out and eat some grass today? Be our lawnmower? Oh boys, how you doing? Doing all right? Hi, Cal. Hey, Moo. You guys wanna come be lawnmowers today? Yeah, let's go. Come on, Moo. Come on, boys. Moo, come check out the grass. You guys need to come eat some of this tall stuff here. Let's go check on these apple trees down here. We planted them last year and we don't really know anything about fruit trees so it's kind of one of those things we you just make a hole and put the plant in and just pray that it grows. It looks like it's coming back really well this year. This one is anyway. This one looks really good too. How exciting. She's got some new growth too. Not as lively as the other three, but she still looks okay. My lavender is coming back really well also. to catch a bird. They think they're gonna keep one as a pet, but it's not happening. What? It, yes, it is. It's a garbage picker upper. <laughs> nice. That came from up top. Yeah, well, that's what okay. happens when you live in an old well, junkyard. We have to move it because... <laughs> well. You better put Cal in there. Maybe, maybe not. Go get Betty. There he goes. See, he'll be at it in no time. <laughs> they probably would better, better get him a bucket of water. Yeah. Nick, you're on that. Bucket of water, please. Thank you. That's cool, they love it. Moose loving it. They're all loving it. Yeah. Isn't that, cool? that is cool. Betty teaching the little ones how to graze. I don't know if that's something she has to teach, but it's pretty neat. <clears throat> Lawn mowers that don't uh, cost us any fuel. And uh, we don't have to feed them hay for a day or two or three or even a week if we kept them out here for that long. We could easily move this many goats around in our yard for forever. It grows fast enough where it'd be good. But we'll keep them out here for the day and then we'll move them back in in the evening. So here's where the rabbits were to begin with. Can't even tell anymore and it's been like maybe two weeks. And look Growing how green really it is. Well. Look all the way up to where they were. Maddie's been moving them some weird and ways. so. And this is recent. So this right is here. two days ago, one day ago, and Last yesterday. Night, and on today. Cool how much you can really see the difference. Yeah, we really can. Down there, we haven't done anything with it this year, but just got the water on fully yesterday. So yeah, we haven't even watered yet this year. So this is this green with just the rain we've gotten, and uh, we live in like a semi-desert 
counting, so 